Hello, friends, and welcome to New Gameplay Today. Unfortunately, we don't have a ton of time, but I am Alex Dadnick, and I am joined with the king of late night, John Carson. Hello, sir. Hey, we're going to keep it tight today. Uh, we are looking at some uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, uh, which is a, a remake of the uh, Diamond and Pearl games for the Nintendo DS. Which I am so excited for, especially to play on the Switch OLED. You get to preview the game a little bit, hands-off preview yeah. uh, the game a little bit. And I just, I just want you to go, man. Tell me everything that's good and why I should be excited. Yeah, so uh, we had a demo with uh, Nintendo of America and uh, a representative from the Pokemon Company International uh, who showed us uh, some of the game. Uh, and what they stressed going in was this is a... A faithful remake of Diamond and Pearl. Uh, if you look at like the the world and like the characters running, walking around the world, uh, it is still the top down uh, aspect like you had in those games. Uh, but then what they stressed was they made a bunch of quality of life uh, changes to this game. So they are bringing in a lot of the stuff from uh, Sun and Moon, and uh, maybe X and Y had it too, and, and Sword and Shield. So. Uh, when you're in battles, uh, you could see uh, the appropriate uh, effectiveness of moves uh, that your Pokemon's can use against uh, the opponent's Pokemon, uh, which is nice. Uh, they added things like uh, uh, new HM uh, divisions where you don't even have to have Pokemon with an HM move uh learned to use the HM. Like a random wild Pokemon will just show up and use it which is weird, yeah. uh, but but that was something that they've eliminated in newer games. So that's how they're they're figuring it out for this one. Uh, sure. and, and I guess cut to cut to here. What we're looking at right now are are the uh, the underground scenes in uh, in Diamond and Pearl, which is like this whole world that's underneath Sinnoh. And in here, uh, you're able to uh, you, you could dig for for fossils and items here uh you can actually get those statues that we saw the the pokemon trainer putting into their secret base uh which is a room where you put uh pokemon statues and those pokemon statues that you put in there will affect what kind of pokemon you actually find in the underground oh interesting so okay. if you're putting in like like bug pokemon statues uh like like three or four of them in your secret base it, it'll let you know that you're going to be able to find more bug pokemon or oh, cool. electric Pokemon, or what, whatever it is. But so it's you, not it's not necessarily the Pokemon that are specifically in there. It's that type, right? Correct. Correct. Okay. Well, it, it could be other things too. Uh, that that was just one uh, one thing that they uh, decided to show us was just Pokemon typing. Now there were different types of statues. Even there were shiny statues, uh, but they didn't really go into what those shiny statues do. I don't know if it's like a greater chance of that uh, of that type of Pokemon showing up, but. There's a bunch of statues and there's a bunch of things to collect down there um, and find Pokemon that you wouldn't normally find above ground. Uh, yeah. And then... Yeah. Uh, Fantastic. I guess right here we're looking at, at, at a gym, I believe. It looks like a gym. Uh, this was not part of our, our uh, actual gameplay demo, but uh, it's nice to see an indoor environment here. For sure. I... I am so excited for this because this is my first time getting to to play this uh, this gen. Yeah. Um, and and I love the ch the the changes like having Chimchar and your Pokemon yes. follow you. Yes, you can have one Pokemon follow you at a time, which is great. And they all walk and run at different speeds and in different ways. <laughs> so uh, no matter which Pokemon you have out there, it has, it kind of shows its personality out in the field. He's so cute. He's Look at him. Neat. Yeah. Yeah. He's I love the him. best of the so starting uh, best of the starters in this game. Anyways, um, yeah. uh, what are we looking at right here? Yeah, so this is the uh, the super contest show, uh, which is something they they had in in Diamond and Pearl, uh, where you're having your Pokemon show off moves. Uh, they added this uh, this rhythm game to it to uh, give give the player a little bit more to do. Uh, but while you're doing this, you can see that uh, your Pokemon can use their contest move to interrupt things and try to make a bigger splash uh, to score higher in the contest. Fantastic. So, yeah. when, uh, when, do, when do we get in the remakes, John? We get the remakes on November 19th on, uh, on Nintendo Switch. Exclusively, baby. Exclusively. John, thank you so much for this new info. Viewers, yeah. thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. You know the thing at this point. Thanks, be good to one another, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.